which is still your Fy here, and the 90 degrees. And according to the theorem of Pythagoras, remember, this uh, resultant R, so R squared is equal to Fx squared plus Fy squared. Hence, when you're saying R is equal to square root of Fx squared plus F y squared that's why this is the formula that i'm talking about are you with me so with that now let's come back to this we need to find out uh i'm gonna take it a little bit where can i make this we know what is our fy fy already is 25 so i'm gonna have 25 there now what i need is the fx look at this when i'm talking about the fx we have got two things we have this 80 newtons going this direction see that and then we have the fx also going the other direction so we need to find Hello once again our most developed student my name is Confident and welcome to our revision session this is the first one of its kind meaning it's the first time I'm offering physics and uh, recently I also added uh, chemistry into this channel so as we are starting with the physical science grade 11 and as I said this is the first time I'm offering the physics part of it I hope we are going to get a bit of understanding as you prepare for your final exams. So I just kind of uh, am going to bring this in a, you know, looking at the time left before you guys write your exams. I'm just going to bring it in a way that will try to consolidate the revision of physics. So I brought in this paper as an example. So what I'm going to do uh, just to get a few instructions here that might be needed. Uh, I just want the rounding of here it says show all the formula and substitution says round off your final answers that's what I want to round off your final answers to two decimal places okay so guys as I say this is the first time I'm offering this and if also it is your first time coming in contact with this channel I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel and ensure that the notification bell is turned on so that you can be notified every time there's a new video now why is this channel growing it is growing because of your suggestions and your input some of you guys I started offering mathematics and some were like can you please bring in physical science and you know after working through the comments one is kind of given a challenge to say why not give them some of these um, I mean physical science so that's why I brought in physical science and unfortunately the time given is limited but i'll do the best i can under the circumstances i'm not going to look at this multiple choice i'm just going to leave it as i say i'm going to bring it in a bit of a twist so this is what i want to bring to you but look at question two i'm going to bring to you this video um i don't know how many sections i'm going to break it apart but i just want you to remember that i want to this is called 24 minute lesson so i want to bring these videos in sizable portions so that you can be able to uh, understand at a goal without you sitting for hours and hours trying to understand so what is important is for you to uh, have a question or a revision session just for a limited time almost a maximum of 25 minutes and then give yourself a break come again for the next 25 minutes and so on so these videos will be broken in those pockets of less than 24 minutes so that you can be able to understand hence the name of the channel the 24 minute lesson so what am i going to do i'm going to do question two and question two for uh you can see it focuses on forces so it is the resolution of forces i'm going to do this question and then it also ties in with question number three 
so after that i will also do question number three again you see you have to resolve the forces here and i'm not going to do question number four i'm not going to do but i'll do question number five and also as you can see it also ties to resolution of forces so this is uh the first set of these questions whereby i'm going to combine these forces because the working behind is almost the same if you can master this way of approaching them you will be in a better position to answer these three questions so let's start and dive straight into the lesson question number two what is it saying question number two says uh, two forces of magnitude 50 newtons and 80 newtons act at a point on a Cartesian plane in the directions shown in the sketch below. So let's look at this. So this is what we are given. And then it says give the correct term for the following description. Now 2.1 says a single vector having the same effect as two or more vectors together. So this single vector uh, which has the same effect is called the what the resultant vector so it's a resultant vector or it's a net that's what we call the net force so this is the net vector the net vector but the keyword there is the resultant uh, vector not vet the resultant the keyword remember a single vector so it is called the resultant so I'm just gonna move on there Calculate the number one, 2.2.1, the magnitude of the vertical component of the 50 newtons. Now, let's come to this diagram. Now, look at the diagram. What we have, we have got the component of the forces. Remember, they are always two. So, you have got the vertical component, which we call the Fy. And we have got the horizontal component here, which we call the Fx. I think that and then we've got a 90 degrees there now the fx remember it's always linked with cos theta so we can say it's and then where is the resultant this is your resultant so it's r sine theta and r cos theta now what is uh, the question here says uh, quickly the magnitude of the vertical component the vertical so they are looking at this part the vertical component and as we're saying what is the vertical component? Fy is equal to the resultant, which is in this case our r is 50. So I can just come in and say uh, 50 what sine and the angle formed is what is 30. See that? So which Fy is equal to, and then you can use the um, uh, part there of the calculator to say what is 50 sine 30 it gives us what 25 so don't forget the units this is 25 newtons so that is my what that is my fy done two months then the magnitude of the resultant net force now the magnitude of the net force so this is where now you need to get these five marks look at this what is the net force the net force you need to know the formula let me write this to say here f net let me do this remember f net which is the resultant which is our r now you remember is equal to square root of f y squared plus f x squared this is the pythagoras so what we are saying is remember you will find something like this to say you have the vertical component and the horizontal component and the vertical component we called it fy and the horizontal we called it fx and the resultant is this one this becomes let me use a different marker this becomes kind of your resultant so if this is your f net or your resultant now let's suppose this angle is theta so you can see that in here you have that which is still your fy here and the 90 degrees and according to the theorem of pythagoras remember this uh, resultant r so r squared is equal to fx squared plus fy squared 
Hence, when you're saying r is equal to square root of fx squared plus fy squared. That's why this is the formula that I'm talking about. Are you with me? So with that, now, let's come back to this. We need to find out, uh, I'm going to take it a little bit, where can I make this? We know what is our fy. Fy already is 25, so I'm going to have 25 there. Now, what I need is the fx. Look at this. When I'm talking about the fx, we have got two things. We have this 80 newtons going this direction. See that? And then we have the fx also going the other direction. So we need to find that. So if I can draw the fx part, what we're given? We are given this in here. You have and the first one is the 80 newtons is going this direction and then you have the horizontal component like that so we want the resultant so we can say in here uh, if we take um, take a right as positive So what we have, this is 80, and then we come back to this diagram, as I said, this is fx, which is r cos theta. So I can write this as fx is equal to, remember our r is 50 cos 30. I think that. So I can come here first and say, I have got fx, and then now let's calculate fx, we said fx is equal to 50 cos 30 which will give me what let's look at that it will give me uh, 50 cos 30 it is going to give me 25 square root of 3 and in, in let's start with three decimal places for now 43,301 43,301 this is 43,301 Newtons, right now. If we want to find the resultant, now resultant, resultant of what? Of the horizontal. Now the resultant is equal to eighty. Remember, we said a uh, take right as positive, so this direction is the one to the right. So it's eighty. Now anything going in the opposite direction is subtract minus fx which is 43 comma 30 see so what is the resultant you can then find the resultant being if i can separate those two it will be 80 um, minus 43 comma 30 and then i get 36 comma 7 so this is my resultant so now the resultant though i'll call it um in this case it will be my resultant still fx is my resultant in the horizontal that is the one that i want to use here I, are you with me so if i say f net now uh, f net is equal to square root of 25 squared where am i getting 25 remember that was my um my fy it was 25 so it's 25 squared and then plus 36 comma 7 squared so it will give me then the answer to say the square root of 25 squared plus 36 comma 7 squared then it gives me 44 comma 40 which is 44 comma 41 if I'm rounding off to two decimal places, remember your calculator can round up for you. You say shift setup, and then you say there is the fix six. Then you say two decimal places there. It is 44,41. So this is 44,41 newtons. Now what was the question? The question was the magnitude of the resultant net force. Net force, the magnitude. So net force, that is the net force. F net are you with me then the other part says the direction of the resultant net force now when you're talking about the direction of the resultant let's do this now 
come back to the direction the diagram we have now with us to say our fy we say it was what 25 newtons are you with me and then our fx which is um to the right yes it's going to the right remember and then we got it as what 36,7 here I've got 36 uh, let me just remove this so what we have here we have this as 36,7 newtons and 25 newtons now we want theta and if you want theta how do you find you are going to say 10 theta is equal to remember it's fy which is opposite of adjacent which is fx so 10 theta is equal to fy which is 25 over 36,7 then you can find now what you can find theta in this case if i continue and say theta is equal to arc 10 you say 25 over 36,7 are you seeing that then it will give you angle theta being uh, shift at 10 and I've got 25 over 36,7 are you with me there equal to and then I've got 34,26 uh, is 34,26 degrees so this is the angle with the horizontal so this is with the horizontal i think that now someone will say but what if i wanted to find that angle let's call it alpha now if you wanted this angle what you needed to do was to say um remember this is 90 degrees you can say oh uh alpha is equal to 90 minus 36,7 and then what are we going to get if we subtract that it will be 90 minus 36,7 it gives me what it gives me 53,3 so it's 53,3 degrees what with the vertical see with the, with FY the vertical force so that is what you can do if ever you guys want to uh, do your calculations uh, concerning that so that is question number as I can go in that was the end of question number uh, two ten marks not bad now let us look at the next one now we are looking at question number what we're looking at question number three now question number three says uh, if you're doing this as I said I'm just moving Thank you.